Grade 6, Subject Science, Chapter 7, Getting to Know Plants. Module 1. Objectives. At the end of the session, you will explore and identify parts of a plant, types of plants, herbs, shrubs and trees. Let us move to the chapter. Go outside and observe all the plants around you. Do you see that some plants are small, some are very big, while some are just patches of green in the soil? We do see a variety of plants existing all around us, near our homes, on the way to school, in the parks and garden, isn't it? Let us get to know the different parts of any plant. This will help us to understand the difference between plants of different kinds. Let us recall what we studied in our lower classes. Parts of plant. Leaves, flowers, buds, fruits, stem and roots are main parts of a plant and dear children there is a activity or a coloring activity in your textbook in page number 52 do it and label the different parts of a plant okay then now let us check how we can categorize or classify the plants Classification of plants. Plants can be classified based on the sizes of the plants. Very small, medium or tall. Plants can be classified based on the nature of the stems. Thick and hard, thin and hard, green and tender that can stand straight and weak that cannot stand straight. Another characteristic for classification is plants can be classified based on the or from where the branches appear at the base of the stem or higher up. So based on these three points we can classify plants into five categories or five types. Let us check which are they. You might have noticed or you might have studied in your lower classes. Herbs. Herbs are small plants less than 1 meter high. They have green tender stems with a few branches. Tomato, br mint and brinjal are some examples of herbs. Shrubs. Shrubs are medium-sized plants about 1 to 3 meter in height. They have thin and hard stems with branches that arise near the base of the stem. Rose, hibiscus and lemon plants are examples of shrubs. Trees. Trees are tall and generally over 3 meter in height. They have Thick, hard and brown stems with branches that arise from the upper part of the stem. Creepers Creepers are plants that have weak stems and cannot stand upright. Plants like strawberry spread on the ground. And in the picture you can see, yes, watermelon. Watermelon is also a creeper. Climbers. Climbers climb up with a support. Plants like the grapevine and money plant are climbers. So we can just wind up or sum up the different types of plants. Herbs. Small plants with green tender stems having few branches. Example tomato plant, brinjal plant. 
shrubs, medium sized plants with thin and hard stem having branches rising near to the base of the stem. Rose, hibiscus are the examples. Trace, tall, thick, hard and brown stem plants having branches in the upper part much above the ground. Mango tree, jackfruit tree, etc. Creepers, plants with weak stems that cannot stand upright but spread on the ground. Example, watermelon, strawberry. Climbers, plants with weak stems that take support and climb up. Example, money plant, passion fruit. So that's all in this session. It was very simple. We already, it was just a recall of what we studied in our lower classes and we will continue with this chapter the next day by studying about the characteristics of different parts of the plant. So, we can now move to the follow-up activity. The follow-up activity for today is the activity 1 in page number 52 in your textbook. Look closely at the stem and branches of plants much smaller than you, plants that are about your size, plants which are much taller than you. Observe them and fill up the table 7.1 categories of plants page number 53 in your textbook. In that table already three Examples of plant is given there and three columns are vacant. So you want to fill up the vacant three columns by observing any three plants in your area. Correct? Okay. Then let us wind up. Thank you. Have a nice day.